my name is John Taylor de la Garza. I use he, they pronouns. I work as the admin assistant for Stop Tax Equality Project. My name is Francisco Mendez. I'm also known as Jackie Fabiani. My role here is to greet people since I was uh, selected to be the Grand Marshal last year for 2023. Step was advertising for this and it was just so exciting to see something in the middle of the valley that can really draw people together. And there's such a variety of things to do. There's all these different community organizations that have come out here and set up tables. So as you can see, the whole event, it's meant about community. It's about pride and celebrating about the Pride Month. And the reason why that's so vital because of all the trials that we have faced as queer people in our community. I'm 57. So, yeah, I've been around the block and I've experienced a lot of discrimination, a lot of hate, and it's still here, but there's more of us that can say we don't tolerate it, and there's more of us we can turn to for support, you know? There's more organizations, there's more resources available that were not around then. This is my, my very first uh, Pride event. Um, and I think it's amazing to see the people that are here and all these different resources marshaled from our community. You know, there are maybe a lot more of us than, than people realize. I feel like that's why it's so important for our Pride kickoff to be just so inclusive. We have organizations from all across the Valley, all for the sake of unifying, uniting the Valley together. I went to my very first Pride event at the beach two years ago, and my mouth just fell to the floor. I was so amazed at how far we've come. It was so heart touching to know just how long queer people have just always existed and the, like the ways they've overcome the different issues they faced back then and how we still face them now. By looking back to our past, we have hope and like ideas for the future. So we're seeing LGBTQIA plus rights, identities under attack across the country and definitely here in Texas. I think so much of that comes from a place of fear. If you come to an event like this, all you're going to see is the love that people have for one another. I hope one day you find the courage to join us to any of these events, whether how big or small. I hope that you do come and meet people and make new friends, because that's how it became with me. And it might be a little bit naive, but I would hope that if some of those people who are maybe a little afraid could see the love and support that we have for one another here, they've realized that there's nothing to be afraid of. I truly cannot say I'm the person who I am today without that wonderful opportunity of making friendships that have strengthened who I am. And I really hope that if you ever need somebody, there's community out here. I really do hope that you come join us sometime.